Hey there, it's Lime at the Toy Temple, and I get to review the Luke Cage and Claire Temple. Get it? Toy Temple? Temple? First thing I've ever reviewed that says Temple on it. From the Luke Cage Netflix show by the Marvel Legends series. And with Luke Cage, I think it's literally the show that I most reference as if you watch it from episode one to maybe episode seven, like right about here on the timeline. From here to episode seven, it's really great. Oh, it's so good. And then if it had just stopped, it would have been just one of my favorite Netflix shows. But then there's like six more episodes and it just starts getting really, really kind of crazy and silly. Way too silly for a comic book show that's supposed to be kind of serious. Uh, but that uh, does not reflect my opinion on this figure. What does reflect my opinion on this figure and that one, is the fact that I think that this was a Marvel Legends exclusive through Walmart. And I think it was like $40 originally. And then Amazon bought it up. And now you can buy a two-pack of action figures, Marvel Legends at that, for like $16, which is why I have this today. Uh, Luke Cage, I really feel like this will work just fine on you know my Marvel Legends either comic or MCU shelf. I'll throw them, you know, I'll figure it out. Her, I have some plans, and they mostly involve this extra head, this Mary Jane head that came with Gwen Stacy. As much as I love Rosario Dawson, she's great in, you know, The Mandalorian, other things I've seen her in, Clerks too. Uh, not really a fan of that character. I don't know too much about her. The blue hands, you know, they kind of remind me of Firefly. Who gets that reference? Two by two hands of blue? Anyone? Anyone? Eh, you're... I, you know, I think I've watched the show like maybe once. I'm getting to the review. Shh, 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 shh. I watched the show once. I don't remember her having Wolverine claws, like, you know, stabbing at people. I remember her having a bag because that's how she healed up people. Uh, but outside of that, I don't recall her ever stabbing people. Like, what am I going to do with those? And also, this comes with only accessories for her. No additional hands for him, which I think is just super silly. On the side, you see that she's got the, uh, there she is. She's got the claw hand, so good for her, I guess. And then on this side, I think it's funny. Like, he's getting shot with lasers, right? That's what that looks like. Children's toys are so weird because... If those were bullets, then, you know, it couldn't be sold to kids. But because it's lasers, then it's okay. It's okay to do that. So, uh, on the back, you know, it gives the real... They always nail it when it comes to these glamour shots on the back. They do a, just a, such a good job. Uh, but let's crack it open, you know. It deserves a good look. They're out. All right, so... Uh, she was posed kind of weird. The likenesses are good, if I'm being honest. Let me flip it so you can take a look. She does look really nice. I mean, it does look like Rosario Dawson, to be fair. It's not a bad pack. I mean, if you really dig the show, this is a great pack to get. But I liked how the design for him came out. So I was like, okay, gotta, gotta get him. And then her, you know, it's the same Marvel Legends buck that we've seen for women time and time again. You know, no double jointed elbows, just little little things here and there. What is going on with her ankle? There it is. Okay, it was tight there for a sec. But the purse looks good. Plastic, doesn't open. It's got little buckles on it, painted. So that's good. Like I said, the claw hands, I can do without. Where are they? There they are. Those hands, I'm just going to throw them in the pile. Uh, she does have... Not much going on, but, you know, the, the joints feel good. They're still tight. They rotate well. Nothing's getting in her way. Her hair moves so she can look both ways. Let's see how easy this stuff pop off. Very easy. Ball on, on a hinge. She's got the peg hole on her neck. And then Luke Cage. Uh, he's got kind of a... Something going on with his pants. So at the top there, they didn't really wash his pants. But then they did like a weird wash on the bottom part. I would have much preferred if it was just jeans. But uh, 
you know, for a guy whose power is punching power, they at least got that right. They got double punching power. I do like his little watch right here. That's cool. Wearing it on his left hand. The right way. I learned from a very young age, you don't wear a watch on the right hand. Not sure why. Here, let's see what time it is. Is it clobbering time? Wrong character. He does have diaphragm, which was originally pretty crunchy, and now it's uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good. This might, now that I think about it, I think this is the same body as Hydro Man. So I'm just guessing. Uh, his shoes are cool. They're like boots. They got grit to them. It looked like if you walked in snow with these, you would not fall. So good for Luke Cage. Those New York winters, they're rough. The likeness on him, pretty good. It's hard to get wrong on a character like Luke Cage. I mean, you just see the dude. He doesn't have crazy hair. He's bald. He's got a goatee. That's easy. He's supposed to look tough. He looks tough. Done. Easy. Legs go out that far. Legs kick forward. It's got hinge. And, oh. Yeah, get back in there. Use the hinge. The hand pops out. So that's weird. They got a lot of this one right. I like it. It could fit on comic or MCU, like I said. So good for this one. No accessories, though. But then again, he's not really supposed to be, like, grabbing stuff. He's just a, you know punch kind of bruiser kind of guy her i'm excited to turn into mary jane maybe put a scarf over her. i know the skin tones won't match but i'm not really concerned about that i don't i don't have a basic human uh you know female body so for 16 bucks i pretty much bought luke cage really good figure good likeness and then i got her for free so that i can have an extra mary jane if you watch the Netflix show and you've enjoyed it, pick it up. It's not going to hurt anything, and it's going to look really good. Uh, if you didn't enjoy the show, still pick it up. It's a great deal. Two figures, Marvel Legends for, what, $16? Sheesh. Hard to pass up. So, uh, final score, huge amount of accessories for her. Literally nothing for him. Uh, but still, great likeness on both. Three and a half out of five? That's fair. That's a good score. Mostly points in the uh, in the buying column, but yeah, overall, getting it out of the package, I feel a lot better about it. I really, I like the yellow. I like the jeans. Her outfit's nice. Likeness, it's there. Claw hands are weird, but you know, I'm sure I'm just forgetting when they used them. But for her character, if you want to pose her like that, be my guest. So with that. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter, both at The Toy Temple. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, hit like, share, subscribe. Let me know down in the comments uh, what was your favorite Netflix show, because I'll tell you mine. It was Daredevil. Easily. Easily. And uh, at the time of this recording, WandaVision is about a week out, so I'm excited to see what happens there. And who knows when this video will go up, but like I said, thanks for watching. And remember, you're never too old to enjoy the things you love.